into a land that I'm going to show you. Huh? God told Isaac to have faith. Huh? He told Jacob to have faith. He told Joseph to have faith. When we look through the Bible and a lot of the patriarchs and the matriarchs, they were all called on to have faith. Even Ruth, even Naomi, even Esther, all of them were called on to have faith. And God is calling on each one of us in 2024 also to have faith in him. And I'm stressing this thing that's called faith because we said, do you have a faith that please God? In order to have a faith that pleases God, you have to have a relationship with the Lord. Amen. Amen. If, if you don't have that relationship, you don't have that faith that pleases God. The first thing that you have to establish is a relationship just like the prophets had a relationship with God. We have to have a relationship with God. Because if you don't have that relationship, when God tells you to go or God tells you to do something, sometimes we don't want to do it because we don't understand that. But... When God tell you to do something, you don't have to understand. You just have to act. Amen. Amen. Act Amen. on what God says. That's a faith that pleased God. We know that the Bible says that faith is what? The substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Huh? We know that the Bible says in Hebrews 11 and 6, but without faith it's impossible to please God. For those that come to him must believe that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Amen. Amen. When we're talking about this thing called faith, it's impossible to go through this world without faith. That's why a lot of people don't make it, because they don't have the faith. A lot of folk have what you call a see faith. Huh? If I can see it, I can have faith in it. But if I can't see it, I don't know about having faith in something that I cannot see. But you have to have faith in things that you cannot see and believe that God is going to bring it to pass. Because he will surely bring it to pass. May not happen in your time. May not happen when you want it to. But it will happen. It might tell it. It might delay. But it will come to pass. It will surely happen. So he is charging us to make sure without a doubt that we have faith. When you're looking at Habakkuk, 